Good evening, I'm Aaron Baker. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 News at 10. With all the numbers and statistics on COVID-19, it's easy to forget the human side in the pandemic. Here at CBS 19, we've set out to hear the stories of the East Texans who have overcome the disease. Our own COVID-19 survivor, Alan Casper, joins us now with another survivor story. Aaron, I got a chance to sit down with a Rust County woman, Haley Bridges, who was just four years removed from a nearly fatal battle with an infection, and that left her vulnerable to the coronavirus. Tell me about how you found out that you had COVID. We had a girl at our office where I worked um, who tested positive and she um, let the other staff know that she was positive. Actually, she had been tested positive for the flu first and then just a few days after that, we all thought we had the flu in the office. The day that she found out and let us know, um, I actually that evening started running fever and feeling like I had the flu. We went for a, a test and I was positive. <laughs> You found out, you tested. How long did it take for the test to come back? How quickly did you know? I tested on a Monday evening and Friday morning I knew. What kind of symptoms were you having? Fever, the body aches, um, the flu, you know, flu-like symptoms. I had no taste, no smell. That, that is the weirdest part about it all. Um, by the time I found out, I was really already feeling better. Um, I was tired uh, for several weeks just had no energy, um, slept a lot, and the cough. And my, my cough didn't really last that long. I actually had a mild case, so I was lucky. Did you ever go to a doctor? Did you have to go to the hospital? The night that I went in and was tested, it was just a clinic. I have type 1 diabetes, so any kind of off in my body, sickness or anything, um, really affects my sugars. The doctor was concerned because my blood sugars were really, really high and very high protein. And so at that point, she sent me straight to the emergency room. He just told me to just quarantine and wait on the test. Thank goodness there was nothing in my lungs or anything. Having type 1 diabetes, had you been concerned before you got it? What would happen if you got the disease? I was because uh, how my diabetes came about was a really bad health scare that I almost didn't make it through. So any kind of health scare like that and then a disease that comes along that everybody, you know, is susceptible to get is, is scary. Do you still feel like you're protected from getting it again or, or are you nervous about maybe getting it again? You know, I've heard you can't get it again. And my doctor has told me, yes, you can. And you may not be so lucky next time. So um, I just try to protect myself the best I can. How many people in your office wound up getting it? Four of us, four girls that got it. Your coworkers, how did they come out? There's one that is still out of work. Um, she has not tested negative since. She was in the hospital for probably a week had a lot of damage to one lung, still has trouble breathing at times. Another one, she's back at work and has tested negative, but she was out, I mean, a month and was in the hospital for, for several days too. You actually were the lucky one out there. I was, there. and with the health problems. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the health problems. <laughs> While you were going through this, what kind of support did you have? I mean, my faith and, and definitely my family and friends that were praying for me. Although Haley was never hospitalized, she did wind up missing a month of work. And she told me she was very happy to have her sense of taste and smell again. Back to you.